Hey Shadows, how's it going? Shadow Sick here. Welcome to a Shadow Sunday. It is 2.50 a.m. and I wanted to do a little behind the scenes video on uh, Anchor by Nova Amor. And it's a song that I hadn't been wanting to do for a long time, but a while ago on Facebook I posted a little thing like, hey, I should do, um, I really want to do a thingy on like a music video or something like that or, or like I was like this song works well with this scene I wonder if I should make a video or should I make a music video with it and um, then after a while I'm like you know what screw it let's do it now it was very hard to find uh, what I needed to do uh, there were some scenes I managed to find like uh, someone had cut together a movie together all the cut scenes but without the subtitles which was really awesome so that I could uh, mute it and have no little annoying subtext or anything at the bottom. Uh, so thanks to that bloke, Pazzy Plays. That's it. Thanks to Pazzy Plays. Uh, I'll leave his link in the description for getting, you know, getting all that cut scene together. That's pretty much all I used was him, and I uh, just kind of cut it into my own thing. Now, what I tried to come across with the music video is try to show that relationship between uh, Chloe and Max. Um, I, I haven't played the game fully just yet myself, uh, but I had known from watching Let's Plays of it that they've got a pretty strong relationship. And they can go one or two ways. You can either end up pushing Chloe away and kind of getting with, um, as I think it's Warren, uh, or you can get with Chloe. Uh, and then there's also the big decision, spoiler alert, um, where the, you save Chloe or you let her meet her fate. So the game is very, very intense and very, very emotional, kind of like Telltale type, you make your own choices kind of thing. It's a very, very interesting game, uh, and that's coming from a book that hasn't even played it yet. Um, and I, what I wanted to try and get across was a lot of emotion, a lot of tear jerking, to show you how much emotion runs through when you play that game. Um, and the relationship between Maxwell, or Max, not Maxwell, Max and... Um, Chloe. So pretty much what I did is I just started off the video just showing off a bit of the scenery like the deer and the sunset and all that jazz and stuff like that just to kind of get the tone started. I tried to keep it at a nice tempo between like for example like it was like dun 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 dun. No change like each shot. So I tried to just keep kind of a nice beat going. Now I would play it but you know it's copyright. Uh, but that's what I tried to do with it at first, anyway. I added a few, like, blank, black, like, screens to kind of, like, realign some sync shots. Like, it goes black, uh, and then it pops up and it's her falling, and it's like, Took the breath from my open mouth. It's like that kind of thing. And she's falling like she's her, the breath has been taking, taken from her. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of trying to like emphasize the lyrics literally through the game and its and its cutscenes, you know. And I just try to accentuate it and I give hints about what's actually happened throughout the game. Mm -hmm. And some parts where I'm like, um, where it's like breaking down and she's like in the toilet like that, like shaking her head and holding her head, that kind of stuff. There's one shot in particular that I really want to mention. It's a shot of the American flag through the window. I don't know why, but that that shot looks so fucking beautiful to me and so good. I just I, I don't know. It just looks really really nice to me. It really appeals to me out of all the most of the shots in the in the music video or even the game in general. And oh, uh, the, the the part where it's like shoot the best when love spark. That part is like so cute. It's ridiculously cute how they're laying in bed together. They're taking photos together, they're snuggling, it's like, it just sends off all your, like, cute radar things, you know, it's like, crazy stuff. There are some shots where I just kind of filled it in, uh, like, you know, the whales on the beach and stuff like that, just because I had, again, with, uh, same with, like, uh, um, other music videos I've done, I have, like, a main set pieces of s story that I want to do, um, that I've thought about, and then I'm like, shit, what am I going to put here between those two, like, two ideas? I've got an idea for, like, my, my ideas always come in pieces, you know? Like, i got a rough estimate of what I want to do, and then when I put it together, there's always at least a bit of a missing piece here and there, which can be quite annoying, but that's what these filler shots are for. 
it gives you a very um, like intense feeling in your stomach and your chest, like you want to cry when you see Max's tears hitting the hitting the floor, and it makes you kind of wonder what 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 happened, what's going on. And I don't technically show you who's lying on the ground. I mean, for some people, of course, I'll instantly think Chloe, but. Even then, if people think it's Chloe or like, no, it's Chloe, they're like, oh shit, this is about Chloe and Max. And I mean, I couldn't pass up on the part where he's like, and I hear your storms coming in. Of course, showing the storm. So, you know, why not? And the part where it like, it does the main kind of chorus part and it's like fading through images and slow motion things of like memories of Chloe and Max together. It's just so fucking cute. <sighs> they're so cute together man and when they kiss and stuff and this shot that I've a screenshot of what I'm showing you right now it's the most I don't know it hits me right in the feels and I've even I haven't even played the game I've even gotten emotionally invested in the characters but watching that's looking at that screenshot just hits me right in the feels man watching the whole video as a bulk is one thing to get you get you emotionally rolling but Watching the whole thing, or like watching part by part, it's just so gut wrenching, man. Oh. And, and then the scene of them walking down the train tracks, cuddling, kinda. It's like, ah, oh, you just, you just want to die of all the adorableness. It's ridiculous. I really love the kind of burning photo effect that the game has itself in its cutscenes. But this upcoming part where it starts to show. Chloe and Max together and photos, it really gets you going. And oh, just, it suits so well. And I mean, the graphics aren't the best, but it still just portrays the message of, of their like relationship so close to each other. And I don't know if you gathered, but I'm kind of trying a different way to do these behind the scenes videos where I watch it. Uh, and kind of go through it as I go because I, I haven't done these behind the scenes in a long time and I haven't seen this video in particular in a long time and it's getting me going <laughs> oh and then 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 the, then the hint of the the symmetry and it just oh, gets you going man and then this upcoming scene here that I'm playing now is where this whole idea for the music video started was this kiss because when he goes to my love like they're kissing and and then when they break off it's like my love and that's originally where I got it because I got like this big it's you know how I always talked about when I get a music video idea it hits me like a bomb in a specific area of the song and I just instantly think of a music video this time I didn't think of one I just thought of this part when that scene hit, when it goes, when it says to me, and it just hits me heavy, and I instantly thought of this scene, and I've only seen, like, PewDiePie play the game, so, for a guy that didn't play the game personally, like, it hit me hard, I was on the, I was, like, sitting there, just listening to it, and I was just like, whew, like, you know, it's like, it hit you, it hit me heavy, it was ridiculous, and then the last few photos of Chloe and Max together all happy, and then cut into the scenes of the the funeral for Matt uh, for Chloe. It's, it's it's heavy stuff. And then the seat where they usually hang out just fading away into the darkness. It's oh man. And then rip Chloe Price. And then I play a different uh, Nova Moore song as the credit song. Oh man, that watching that again. Anyway. I couldn't necessarily show the whole thing because it could get copyrighted, but hopefully you like this new style of behind the scenes. I, cause I honestly can't remember how I did them. I look back at some other ones, but I don't know. I just kind of winged it, and this one I'm just kind of winging as well. Yeah, I just came up with the idea based off just a Facebook post of just that kissing scene, and decided to make more of it. Started as I listened to the song more and was like, I'm going to make this music video, I started to piece specific certain parts of the song with the, with the game. 
And then once I got all those main pieces, I'm like, okay, so there's a bit here of like guitar playing or whatever, or something here. I'll chuck this here and this here and this here. And then that works out nicely. Sometimes I switch stuff around so it works. So again, it was just setting down the main like checkpoints, so to speak, and then putting in the fillers between each, you know. So this music video is very emotional. I love it a lot. I can't wait to work on my next one. Go give the game a go. Life is strange. Or if you're okay with spoilers or you've played it, go watch the music video. It's very powerful. It hits you deep. But I mean, it's up to you. It, for me anyway, it hits me pretty deep and I can admit that I get a bit like congested in the chest when I watch it. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a bit proud of what I did, even though it's just cutting game footage together. Or it's because it connects with me emotionally a little bit. Maybe it's a bit of both. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty much a little behind the scenes on uh, Anchor by Nova More. Nova More. So, uh, it's been a pleasure. I think I'm going to go now. Look forward to my next project. Link for the video, OG video. And uh, the guy that helped me with the video. Like, not he didn't technically help me, but I just uh, used his movie cutscene thing. It's below. Check him out. Check out my other channel where my other music videos are if you want to have a little look. And hopefully at some point I can start uploading more. Also the Facebook page for it is below as well, where I originally posted that post. Yeah, I'm going to go. Please leave a like, if you have enjoyed, subscribe more. it will help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next episode with everyone, mate. It's awesome. I know. Love you all. And bye-bye. I suck at singing.